Hello Champions! Welcome to SFCC Online Livestream. Masaya kami na makasama ka namin today. Be part of building church and reaching others. Papaano? Let's watch this. Aside from Sunday Livestream Celebration, meron din tayong Praise and Prayer every Tuesdays where we pray para sa church at sa community, may encourage through sa Word of God and sa mga testimonies at ma-refresh through praise and worship. Tune in na every Tuesday at 5.50 p.m. Huwag nating kalimutan to encourage and inspire family and friends to join us to praise and pray. We also have prayer force every day. And different teams gather online through Zoom or Messenger para ipagpray ang church concerns and community. Welcome ka na maging part dito. Message us at San Fernando Christian Community Messenger. I-chat mo lang ang word na prayer force. Join the prayer force now! Soul group happens anytime of the week. Here, we connect with the church family, build each other up through encouragement and prayer, and share ng word ni God. Soul group is for all ages, at ito ay nangyayari on Zoom, Messenger, or face-to-face meet-up. Mag-load na in advance para sa iyong data, or kumunek sa mabilis at reliable na internet connection. Gumamit ng earphones with built-in microphone o kaya ay pumunta ka sa tahimik na lugar kung saan walang makakaistorbo sa iyo so that you can concentrate, participate, and collaborate with your spiritual growth team. Para maging part ng cell group, pumunta ka lang sa christian.com.ph slash connect para makita ang iba't ibang cell group schedules ng SFCC. Get connected! Dahil sa cell group, we do champion life together. Nung namarinig ko yung ano, tithes and offering, sabi ko ganun, pag ibigay ko yung 10%, paano naman yung ano, pangangailangan ko? Nangusap si God sa akin na yung Malakay 310, na ibigay mo yung tithes mo. nag ako, God, ayusin mo ang puso ko. Nagsimula ako mong tithes. Na masaya. More than 25 years na ako na nagbabalik ng aking tithes and offering para sa kingdom ni God. Mula nung nag-obey ko, ako kay God na ibalik yung, ma, yung tithes and offering ko sa kanya, marami akong pagpapala sa buhay ko. Nakilala ko si God lalo at binigyan niya ako ng heart na mag-share ng word ni God. Doon ako masaya. Philippians 4.19 At buhat sa kayamanan niyang hindi mauubos, ibibigay niya lahat ng iyong pangangailangan sa pamamagitan ni Jesus Christ. Pinanghawakan ko yon Siya yung provider ko. Nagbigay din ako ng building pan. Part ako doon eh. Sa more than 25 years na yon nakita ko ang movement ni God sa SFCC through sa pagbibigay natin ng tithes and offering. Maraming mga souls na nasave. Mga bata, matanda, teenager, ganun. Uh, masaya ako na maging part sa SFCC mission to honor God and deliver all His benefits. At SFCC, nagbibigay tayo with a grateful heart because of what God has done for us. Ngayon, we've made it even easier. Pwede kang gumamit ng giving platform na most convenient for you. For PayPal, go to christian.com.ph Click Donate For GCash, go to SFCC Facebook page and download the QR code for tithes and offering on your device. On your GCash app, click Pay QR. Upload the downloaded QR code. Enter the amount of your giving. Click Next. And Pay. Screenshot your online transaction and send your giving details to SFCC Champions Messenger. Pwede mo ding personal na ibigay ang yung tithes and offerings sa SFCC Reception Office. O kaya, ipaabot ito sa yung network leader. For bank transfer, For special needs, i-text mo lang ang mga numbers na nasa screen. God is good! Pero maraming tao ay nagdududa sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Ito ay dahil sa isang pahayag na totoo pero ini-interpret nila sa maling paraan. Isa sa mga common na pagkasabi, God is in control. 
Is God really in control of everything that happens on earth? Kung nadiskrasya ka, nagkasakit, nasaktan, napahiya, when bad things happen, we tend to blame God. Sabi ni God, when all you see is your hurt, you lose sight of me. God is sovereign, the highest ranking ruler, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords. But that does not mean that God controls everything. Yes, God is in charge, but He's not controlling everything that happens in the world. He does not control people because He has given man free will to choose. God welcomes man na makipag-interact sa kanya. He's relationship-based. We can do nothing without God, and He chooses to do nothing without us. You see, we've been invited into a partnership with God. God's overall purposes and plans will happen, so you choose to be a part of it. Another false conclusion, since God's in control of everything, then He must be responsible for the evil in the world. Whatever happens, it must be God's will. Hindi Diyos ang may akda ng kasamaan. Not everything that happens is God's will. And God's will does not always happen every time. God is not willing that any should perish. God's will is that people repent, yet many do not. Everybody gets a chance to choose who controls their life. You can let Satan control your life, you can try to control your own life, or you can give control of your life to God. The second common uh, pagkasabi was found in Job chapter 1 verse 21. Job said, the Lord gives and the Lord has taken away. Does God take away? Absolutely. He takes away our sin, our shame, our sickness. He takes away fears. God gives love. He gives grace. He gives favor, healing, provisions, protections. John chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus said, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I came to give life, life that is full and good. Jesus is the giver of good things. Satan is the thief, harassing you, robbing you, deceiving you. You have a part to play. You can bring down the will of heaven to earth. Discern the truth. Change your mindset about God. Choose to believe that God is always good. Don't blame God when something bad happens. Instead, resist the devil and speak God's word into your situation. You stand on the truth of Jesus. Fight the good fight of faith to experience the goodness of God. Oh, God is good all the time. More of SFCC Sermon Recaps available at christian.com.ph slash gems. To listen to SFCC's previous sermons, head to christian.com.ph slash podcast on your web browser. Be fired up to SFCC's faith-filled messages. Don't miss any of SFCC's updates. Search San Fernando Christian Community Facebook page, click like, hit get notifications, choose see first. Open your YouTube app, search San Fernando Christian Community, and hit subscribe. You can also search SFCC YouTube account on your web browser. Type christian.com.ph slash YouTube. Are you a parent working abroad? Are you a full-time working parent? Or are you busy working at home? Good news! Malayo ka man, you can still be assured of your child's learning development. Champions Academy Multimedia Curriculum comes through a brand new app where the child's progress can be monitored real-time by both parents, teachers, and students. Enroll your child now. Visit champions.edu.ph You can also browse our Facebook page, Champions Academy, for more details.
Merong amazing news mga kapatid. You have the privilege to be part in building the Champion Center. Dahil marami pang kailangang tapusin, we're calling out the volunteers na pwedeng magpaint sa Champion Center. At kung ikaw ay isa sa mga interesado, send a message to SFCC Champions o kaya naman, connect to your cell group leader para magpa-schedule. Good news! Ang New Kids Hall natin ay malapit tabong matapos. Sa pamamagitan nito ay maraming kabataan pa ang ating matutulungan na mas mapalapit pa kay Jesus. And if you are with us in wanting to make this happen, we freely accept volunteers. Pwedeng pwede kayo mag-volunteer sa pamamagitan ng pagpintura ng ating New Kids Hall. Kaya ano pang hinihintay nyo? Tara na at magtulungan para sa ating mga kampiyon na kabataan. Masaya ako na ginagawa ko to eh. Tsaka hindi sa akin yung oras ko kasi alam ko na my labor in the Lord is not in vain. Yun yung iniisip ko kanina pang ginagawa ko to. Yung ginagawa ko parang worship na rin to eh. Kaya hindi sa akin yung oras ko. Masaya ako na nagsusunod. Ayaw ko ba sa akin panahon ko. Kaysa tumambay lang ako. So ito yung time ko naman sa manilbihan sa Panginoon. Iba ang nararamdaman ko pag nagsusunod ako sa kanya. Uh, voluntary to, wala itong bayad uh, uh, kalooban na masayang masaya na priceless talaga overwhelming yung kasiyahan na makita kong nagsaserve ako sa Lord ang conditional para kay God at para sa kapatiran Church is wherever you are whether nagagather kayo in a building or sa inyong mga tahanan or online, pwedeng pwede tayong sumamba at magpuri kay God kaya naman tawagin na natin ng ating family at i-share nyo na rin ang video na ito sa inyong mga friends. Or pwede nyo silang i-mention sa ating comment section. At sabay-sabay natin i-experience si God through praise and worship and through His Word today. Halina't pasalamatan natin at purihin ang Diyos na may hawak ng ating mga buhay. Hawak mo kinabukasan ko, walang ikakatakot Panginoon. Hawak mo kinabukasan ko, walang ikakatakot Panginoon. Hawak mo kinabukasan ko, Kinabukasan ko, walang ikakatakot ang ino. 
that we will follow you. We will follow your ways. And for that, Lord, we are humbly asking for your help. Help us, Lord, to do your will. Let your will be done in our lives. And just focus on Jesus and walk with Him. Help us, Lord, to love whom you love and to serve whom you serve and right now Lord we just surrender to you we humble down ourselves and just give the will of our life to you and take control because you are our Lord. From heaven you can hear, I know you're drawing near as I worship. Held within your love, the wind and waves will come, but I will stay.
surrender everything. You are in control, God. Have your way, have your way in our lives, Lord. We will not worry about everything. We will not worry about what to eat or what to drink or what to wear. Because you will provide You know what we need, Lord You know what we need, Lord You know what we need, Lord Cause you're a good, good father You're a good, good father You're a good, good father And you will give us peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you are so great. Name above all names. Lord of Lords, you're the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. You're the Lord Most High, and we will just trust you. We trust you, Jesus. Have your way in our lives. We will not worry about this COVID. We will just let this COVID be COVID and we will just let you, God, be God in our lives because you are greater and you are higher and you are stronger. You're the most powerful of all, Lord. And right now, we just declare that you are the Lord of our lives and we surrender everything to you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for saving us. Thank you, Lord. We will build our lives to you, Lord. You're the only strong foundation. All of these are sinking sand. You're the strong foundation And all of these are sinking sand And we will build our lives on you, Lord
Come on, let's offer a clap of praise to the Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Come on, mas malakas pa dyan. Thank you, Jesus. Well, hey, good morning, church. Welcome to Remote Control Part 2. And last week, I corrected some common misunderstandings about God that often lead people to false conclusions, disappointments, or even hard feelings toward God. For example, one false conclusion is that God is in control of everything and everyone, so He must be responsible for the evil in the world. Or whatever happens is God's will, and God's will will just happen no matter what I do. And whatever happens is beyond my control. It's all God doing it. Or God gives and takes away. So be careful, friends, and discern the truth about God. Change your mind about Him. He is good. And remember that He's good the next time something bad happens. And don't blame God. But today, I want to show you a correct and healthy way to view God and relationally involve Him in your day-to-day life. So listen very, very carefully. Yes, God is in charge, but He is not controlling the events and the choices of your life. Not unless you give Him controls for your life. I mean, voluntarily invite Him into the driver's seat of your life. Sometimes we say, enthrone him. Kilalanin siya bilang hari. Unahin mo siya sa first place, sa top priority ng buhay mo. Because God won't just take over the control of your life without your permission. He could, but He will not. Another example is, like God is the owner of the earth, and everything and everyone in the earth. Psalms 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to Him. But God doesn't own your attention until you choose to pay attention to Him. He can try to catch your attention if He wants. And He often does. But God won't take away your choice to not give him attention. Ganon din sa praise and worship. He doesn't have your worship until you make the choice to give him praise. He doesn't take worship out of you, but he's eager to receive your worship. The same thing with control. In our lives, God could take over control. But he chooses not to, not until the end of the world, when Philippians chapter 2, verse 10 and 11 says, every knee will bow and every tongue will declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. But you can voluntarily choose already to put him first place in your life right now. Can I recommend that you do that? Surrender your whole life, every part to God. Abandon yourself. Yield and submit to God's will. Not your own opinion or your desires. Sarili mo mga decisions. Na maaring sasabihin mo, Tim, that's too much. Sobra naman radical, fanatical. Then mawawala ako sa control ng buhay ko. Why should I do that? Why should I surrender or or submit to whatever God wants? I'll give you the reasons. Listen, number one, He is worthy. Ang Dios ay creator. Nilikha kanya and everything around. He's the only true God. Hari na mga hari. Lord of lords. Watch this. Lord, ang saya-saya ko ngayon. Di ka sa mo. It's gayaan sa'yo. Wow! Di ba kung sino uupo dito, siya ang gagawa ng lahat ng desisyon. Yes, Lord, alam ko. Alam ko ako'y gumagawa ng mga desisyons ko. 
Pero I want na ibigay ito sa'yo dahil lah- lahat ng decisions mo ay perfect. Wow! I am honored. So, kumasa kayo ng kaibigan mong si Richie. Did you talk to her? Did you forgive her? Wait, Lord. Kailangan ko bang gawin yun? Oo naman. Why, Lord? Bakit ko kailangan gawin yun? Because I want you to do it. Wait, Lord. Hindi mo kasi naiintindihan. Yung friend ko yung may attitude yun. Pwede ko ba siya ipag-pray muna ng one week? No. Ngayon na ako sasagot. Di ba, Puring? I want you to do it. Dahil alam mo na gusto ko yung best para sa'yo at yung best para sa kanya. Kaya, forgive her. Hi, Puring. Kamusta ka? Ah, eh, okay lang naman. Wanna go out? Touch tayo. Sorry, busy ako. Check ko pa yung schedule ko. Check ko kung pwede na tayong lumabas. Oh, see. I hope everything is okay. Sige, ba- mauna na ako. Lord, nakita mo yun? I thought, if you forgive mo siya. Wait, Lord, hindi mo kasi naiintindihan. Sabi mo, one week pa. No! Ikaw may sabi nun. Teka, teka, teka. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Di ba sabi mo ako uupo dito at gagawa ng lahat ng decision pero bakit? Joke lang, Lord. Joke lang. Nabigla lang ako. Take a seat. Take a seat. Are you sure? Yes naman, Lord. Okay. So, go and forgive her? Wait, Lord. Hindi mo kasi naiintindihan. Hindi mo gets. Hindi mo ko gets. Hindi mo ko naiintindihan. Ganyan to kasi. It's not working for him. Hindi pwedeng tayong dalawa ang umupo sa upuan. But Lord, why do you keep calling me Lord kung ayaw mo namang gawin ang mga sinasabi ko? No, I will not take it. You have to give it to me. It's either me or you. Puring, make a choice. I can't. Nakagawa ka na ng desisyon. Sabi ni Jesus, why do you call me Lord, Lord, but do not do what I say? Ang Panginoon, yung ibig sabihin, manager, boss, ruler, he's the one in charge. Revelations chapter 4 verse 11 says, our Lord and God, you are worthy to receive glory, honor, power. You created all things and all things were created by your decision. So God is worthy. Meron akong kaibigan na napakamahal na, meron siyang napakamahal na sports car. It's extremely beautiful, extremely fast, and extremely valuable. Obviously, he would not just let anybody drive ang kanyang car. He would not allow someone to borrow or drive his car unless alam niya yung person na yan ay may, may skills or meron siyang experience to handle a big responsibility. It, he could take care of it. He could drive it safely. But the one who borrows his most precious car would have to be somebody worthy of it. More than a car, your life is very valuable and very beautiful. You should not just entrust your life kanino. Anybody could just use or abuse or confuse you, but not everybody is trustworthy to have the influence and the control over the big decisions of your life. But God is worthy. Kaya niyang i-handle at alagayan ng buhay mo. And that's why I recommend you, give Him full control ng buhay mo because He is worthy. Pangalawang dahilan is God loves you. You can trust His heart for you. Jeremiah 29.11, God says, I have plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Ang puso ng Diyos ay para sa'yo, hindi laban sa'yo. And 1 Peter 5.7 says, cast your worries onto Him because He cares for you. He loves you. An amplified version says, cast your worries, your concerns, your anxieties. Ang salitang cast means release or turn over the control to Him. And you can trust His heart and you can also respond to His goodness. 
1 John 4, 19, we love because He first loved us. Dahil minamahal kanya, we respond, you know, respond to His love. Luke chapter 7, verse 47, sabi ni Jesus, because her, that woman's sins were forgiven, kaya she loves much. Ang kanyang response to the forgiveness of her sins was she loves. Dulos, a dulos, that's a Greek word in the Bible, that describes a person who is a lifelong slave by choice. And Paul, the apostle, called himself, proudly called himself, the doulos, a bond servant of the Lord. The concept came from Exodus chapter 21, verse 1 to 6. When you buy a Hebrew slave, he shall serve you for six years. But on the seventh year, you set him free. But if the slave plainly says, I love my master, I don't want my freedom. Then his master is to bring him before God and to a door or doorpost and pierce his ear with a sharp metal rod. This will show that he is your slave forever. So, he's going to pierce his ear. And the word there, slave in Hebrew is abad, and it actually can also be translated worshiper. Here's a slave. Na meron siyang kalayaan. He could go, he could leave, he could go anywhere he wants, do all the things that he heard about, dreamed about. He could travel, get rich, sumikat, party, enjoy the good life. But this wise slave knows na his life is actually better off staying under the protection of his master. Sasabihin niya, I voluntarily stay as a slave. You know, I feel that way sa, sa buhay ko with God. I, I give, gladly give God control, decision-making power, authority sa aking buhay because God has taken good care of me. Naranasan ko ang pag-ibig niya. I trust His heart's motives para sa akin. I've seen the lives of some of my old friends and classmates who did not follow Jesus like I chose to. They've lived for themselves. They've went after money, sex, popularity, trying to get the good life, live for themselves. And the Bible says there's a way, and it seems right, but it only leads to death. But I chose to seek God's kingdom first. And guess what? All those things have been added to me as well. I I really relate doon sa mga lyrics ng kanta nito, Your love is reaching me and I'm responding to it. Your love is changing me as I surrender to it. I'm holding nothing back. I give you every part. My soul has been released. Your love has captured my heart. God loves you and you can trust His heart. So give Him control. The third reason kung bakit dapat may bigay ang control ng buhay mo sa Diyos is because He's omnipotent, meaning all-powerful. One example of a person giving up control in the Bible is Abraham. God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac. And that, that's hard to imagine. And he said, how could he do that? Nothing is more important than your own son. You know, but he knew, Abraham knew that God is omnipotent. He is all powerful. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 19 says that Abraham reasoned that if Isaac died, God was able, powerful, able to bring him back to life again. And in a sense, Abraham did receive his son back from the dead. See, God's power is unlimited to raise back up that which you voluntarily laid down. And if you pass this important test of giving God control, giving God the authority in all the important matters of your life, if you pass this test of not taking matters into your own hands, not trying to control 
your own life, then many times, listen, many times, God will release back to you the very thing that you've surrendered to him. When God tested Abraham to sacrifice the thing that mattered most to him, his son Isaac, Abraham passed the test and proved that God could really have 100% control in his life. God told Moses to lay down his staff, yung kanyang staff na naging ahas. And then sabi ni God, now you pick it up, but not by the head. Pick that snake up, your staff, by the tail. The head, picking up a snake by the head is the logical place. Because kung hawak mo yung ulo ng snake, you're in control of the snake. And yet God said, no, pick up your staff, that snake, by the tail. Na kung saan Moses is no longer in control. Alam mo, if you pick up a snake by the tail, you cannot control what will happen. That snake will turn around and maybe bite you. But God wanted Moses this time in Egypt. God wanted Moses not to be doing what he thinks is logical, what he thinks is best. Maski na may magandang intentions. You see, there's good works and there's God works. And there's always a risk in trusting God. But Moses picked up, this time, he picked up his staff by the tail. And that staff, na dati, ang tawag dun sa staff is the staff of Moses. It became the miracle-working rod of God and no longer just the staff of Moses. Number four reason is that God is all-knowing. The word is omniscient. Psalms chapter 147 verse 5 says that His understanding is infinite. You know, God knows everything and we do not. Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9, God says, My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. You want to make God laugh? Tell Him your plans. Tell him what you're going to do. Tatawa lang siya. Kasi we don't know. Nung bago pa ako at bilang isang missionary, may mga kasama na missionary din. At gagaling nila, mga professionals. Sila may mga master's degree sa missions. Mga experts ito, trained by the elite universities. And guess what? Kahit ang ganda ng kanilang mga plano, today, marami ng mga plant, mga churches na Planet nila a non-existent. You see, God sees the big picture, and He knows what's coming up ahead. He knows what's around the corner. Alam ng Dios kung merong darating na dangers or detours or dead ends. Nakakita ang Dios na mga things na hindi di natin nakikita. Proverbs chapter three, verse five to six says, "Trust the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own." understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. If you want something done right, then we feel like, oh, I have to do it myself. But God is not a man that He should make mistakes. Sa Dios, the opposite is true. If you want something done right, let Him get His hands on it. Let Him have the controls. In John chapter 6, verse 68, people were quitting and leaving Jesus. So, tinanong niya sa mga disciples niya if they want to leave also. But Peter said, Lord, there's no one else that we can go to. Your words give eternal life. Parang sinasabi ni Peter, God, you know what's best for me. There's no one else who could be in control but you. And number five, God is omnipresent. That means always present, never absent. And the omnipresence of God is what counters fear. Psalms 23, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Now, these are uncontrollable circumstances. I will not fear because you are with me. The presence of God, His constant presence Yan ang panglaban sa fear. Fear of giving God control over 
major areas of your life, maybe fear of your financial situation, fear what will happen sa love life ko, sa future. Madalas, ma- nasa isip natin is, what if I give God you know, control sa buhay ko, magkukumit ako, but then what if I don't have enough money? What if I never meet the right person? Paano kung I end up poor, insignificant, or alone? So there's fear. It's not fear that you doubt God's ability to help, but minsan, we just doubt His availability or His willingness. Oh, God's too busy. He's not, he's not concerned about me. I'm not worthy enough sa Kanya. I don't deserve God's attention or His favor. Pero God is always with us. He's omnipresent. And the enemy of giving God control is the fear of what God might do. The antidote, the solution is trusting God's loving heart. I can trust Him to be with me forever. Hebrews 13 verse 5, I will never, sabi ng Diyos, under any circumstances desert you nor give you up, nor leave you without support, nor will I in any degree leave you helpless, nor will I forsake you or let you down or relax my hold on you. Assuredly not. Wow. God's promises are solid. So let Jesus Take control of the steering wheel of your life. Trust Him to set the direction for your life, for your finances, for your family, your future. Trust that God knows where to go, where to take you, and how to get you there. Stop thinking you have to be in control. You know, some people, pagdating sa mga sasakyan, some people just want to be in control. They like to be the one driving. Now, sometimes may mga tao na, mga drivers na uncomfortable kung iba ang magda-drive. They don't trust other drivers. Kung ako, I prefer to re- relax and just rest. Uh, na-enjoy ko talaga kung iba ang magda-drive. Basta safe. But we need to trust God to hold the steering wheel. Imagine the new car dealer kabibili nang ng bagong sasakyan. And they congratulate new car owners by turning over the symbolic key. But what if the new owner then turns over the keys ng kanyang sasakyan to God? And nagsasabing, God, you be the owner. You be the new owner. Ito, sayo ito. Come into my car. I give you the keys to my car. But also... I don't trust myself to drive safely and wisely. So I give you also the steering wheel and ask you to not only be the owner, but be the driver, the navigator, the mechanic, and manage every aspect of this vehicle. And God says, I'd be glad to, and we'll do this together. Sir, ito na po yung susi ng bago mong sasakyan. Jesus, Jesus, look! Yung bago kong sasakyan, oh! Ganda na, oh! Tara! Pero ang problema, hindi ako marunong mag-drive ng maayos nito. Jesus, can you show me the way? Di ba? I am the way. Ako ang daan. But, Jesus, where should I go? Basta makinig ka lang sa sasabihin ko, ituturo ko sa'yo kung saan ka pupunta. Jesus, can you be with me always in the car? Oo naman. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Sasamahan kita lagi. Pero, Jesus, dahil hindi ako marunong mag-drive nito, can you drive for me? Oo naman, I can, if you will let me to. Wow! 
Wow! Ganito pala yung feeling pag ikaw nagda-drive, Jesus. Very safe and very smooth. Sometimes I think, what would or what could my life have ended up like if God was not in control? Where would I be today if I did not ask God na mag-manage ng aking buhay? I'd probably be dead or my life would be in a big mess of trouble. Because I've tried running my own life, my own way, chasing my own selfish ambitions. I've made foolish decisions. But full salvation, yung, yung talagang buong kataligtasan, it includes both accepting Jesus bilang tagapagligtas and in invite siya na pumasok sa buhay. But it also involves Jesus being the Lord of your life, where you invite Him to drive, to take over the controls of your life. So friends, my challenge for all of us is let nothing hinder your surrender. Let nothing hinder your surrender. Don't let fear na maging problema. That fear that God won't do what's best for you. Don't let disbelief hinder you from surrendering control sa Dios. Yung deception that ito ang magiging magandang source, ito ang magiging supply or sustainer ko. Don't disbelieve that God is able. And don't let self-centeredness, yung desire to be your own Lord or your own God, don't let self-centeredness hinder you from releasing control to God. Instead, acknowledge God's worthiness. Kung sino siya, He's worthy of the control of your life. He loves you. Acknowledge His goodness and respond to Him. Acknowledge that He is all-powerful. He has all knowledge and He's always present. Now, how to surrender? Practically, admit that you can't control your own life. You're not meant to. So just acknowledge, admit na hindi ko kayang i-manage ng aking buhay. Next is submit. Ibig sabihin, lay everything down before God. Give Him every part of your life. And next is to commit. Commit to trust God and not depend on your own understanding. Ask God, invite Him, yield to Him, surrender to Him bilang manager, bilang panginoon ng buhay mo. And don't quit. Don't quit because surrender is something that has got to happen every day. Hindi ito one time, big time. Every day, Luke 9 verse 23 says, Give up your own way. Take up your cross daily and follow me. Releasing control to God in every area of your life. That's not a punishment. Hindi naman masamang gawin ito. This is not a sacrifice really. It's a blessing. It takes the pressure off of you and brings freedom. You don't have to worry. You don't have the stress, the struggle to have assurance of a blessed life. Because when God takes control of our lives, peace and rest comes. Provision, protection, the pleasure of God, the fullness of joy. So I highly recommend that you give control of your life to God. He's not controlling you or anybody else against your will. And that's why many things happen every day that are not God's will. But the good news is you can choose to voluntarily release control to God. Invite Him to enter your life. But not only enter, to become the director, the driver, the daily decision maker in all areas of your life. At magsisimula ito sa isang simple prayer. Pray it with me. God, I believe. Say it, God, I believe. You are worthy. I believe you love me. I can trust your heart. You are good. And ngayon, Lord, I'm responding to your goodness. You are all-powerful, all-knowing, 
always present, never absent. I believe you'll never leave me, abuse me, abandon me, or neglect me. So in invite na kita na pumasok sa aking buhay. Kayo mong hawak ng controls. I surrender. Isinusuko ko na ang aking puso, buhay, kaisipan lahat. I submit to your will. I yield to your ways and your timing for your purposes and your pleasure in my life. And I believe and receive ang anak mo na si Jesus Christ at tinatanggap ko ang kanyang sacrifice sa cross bilang aking only way of salvation. And I invite Jesus to be my one and only Lord. Come and have control. Amen. Amen. Be back next week for part three of Remote Control. Huwag mong kakalimutang mag-connect sa iyong cell group for this week. Kung wala ka pang cell group, you can just go to christian.com.ph slash connect para makita mo kung sino ang mga leaders na available to meet up with you. Dahil sa cell group, we do life together. At dahil live cell na natin ang pag-pray, join us every Tuesday night, 6pm, Praise and Prayer live streaming. Because a family that prays together, it stays forever. I believe na nag-enjoy tayo sa mga napanood nating videos kanina. Kung gusto mo silang balik-balikan, you can just go to christian.com.ph slash YouTube para naman may ma-share ka sa mga friends mo at sa iyong timeline. At para maging updated pa tayo sa mga latest sermons, you can simply visit christian.com.ph slash podcast. Surrender to it I'm holding nothing back I give you every part My soul is parent working abroad? Are you a full-time working parent? Or are you busy working at home? Good news! Malayo ka man, you can still be assured of your child's learning development. Champions Academy Multimedia Curriculum comes through a brand new app where the child's progress can be monitored real-time by both parents, teachers, and students. Enroll your child now. Visit champions.edu.ph You can also browse our Facebook page, Champions Academy, for more details. COVID-19 can be a pandemic. Pandemic. I will not allow the opening of classes. Para sa akin, bakuna muna. to face class Oh no paano na pag-aaral ng anak ko Good news Problem solved Champions Academy as a digital school is ready sa makabagong paraan ng pag-aaral Learning made fun for educational class engagement Pwedeng mag-meet through video calls. Our multimedia curriculum comes with games, cartoons, movies, music, and many more. Classroom studios are real. 
ang mga pre-recorded lessons ay pwedeng mapanood anytime, anywhere. School up for students? Ang mga digital modules ay pwedeng gawin at maaari ring iprint for your convenience. Students can also do it with multimedia interactive tools Teacher, tapos na po ang activity ko. And submit! Yes! So, school up for teachers. With just few clicks, teachers can check the submitted activities, lagyan ng score, comment, and feedback agad-agad. Sa ating school up for parents, Maari nang mamonitor ng mga magulang ang progress ng kanilang mga anak. Kaya, ang parent partnership ay possible sa Champions Academy. Visit our website, champions.edu.ph For more information, visit our Facebook page slash SF Champions Academy. Come and experience Champions Academy. Honey, honey, halika! Enroll na natin anak natin dito. Oo nga. I-enroll na natin siya. Quality education ba ang hanap niyo for your kids? Ito ang sagot sa problema niyo. Champions Academy will make your child's online learning experience fun and effective. Here is a little overview of what they can do. Hello. Welcome to Brain Pop. Our movies can really help kids get excited about a new topic. But click around and you'll find lots of other great stuff. From readings and quizzes to concept mapping and coding. Think of our features as a progression up Bloom's taxonomy. From simple recall to independent analysis. Up through representing original ideas through creative work. Wow! Amazing! No more boring moments. Siguradong mag-enjoy ang mga anak ninyo na mag-discover, learn, play, and create. Magkakaroon ng unlimited access sa mga animated videos, readings, quizzes, and creative tools na easy to use. Oh, and it's also super flexible. Choose whichever activities are the ideal fit for your students' interests and needs in whatever sequence works best. You can use BrainPop's Assignments tool to create whole class or individual assignments or let learners follow their own curiosity. Giving students agency boosts motivation. Dahil wala naman talagang one size fits all, this application offers a flexible learning pathway para sa inyong anak at sa buong klase. It also encourages an independent learning for your kids. Hindi hadlang ang pandemic at crisis na ito para magpatuloy ang quality education ng anak mo. And Champions Academy is one with you in your child's education. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Enroll na! For more details, visit or send a message to Champions Academy's Facebook page slash SF Champions Academy. And we are still accepting enrollees from nursery, kinder, and grades 1 to 6. Mag-register na sa champions.edu.ph slash pre-register. Are you a parent working abroad? Are you a full-time working parent? Or are you busy working at home? Good news! Malayo ka man, you can still be assured of your child's learning development. Champions Academy Multimedia Curriculum comes through a brand new app where the child's progress can be monitored real-time by both parents, teachers, and students. Enroll your child now. Visit champions.edu.ph You can also browse our Facebook page, Champions Academy, for more details.
COVID-19 can be a pandemic. Pandemic. I will not allow the opening of classes. Para sa akin, bakuna muna. Pandemic? No face-to-face -face class? Oh no! Paano na pag-aaral ng anak ko? Good news! Problem solved! Champions Academy as a digital school is ready sa makabagong paraan ng pag-aaral. Learning made fun for educational class engagement. Pwedeng mag-meet through video calls. Our multimedia curriculum comes with games, cartoons, movies, music, and many more. Classroom studios are real. Ang mga pre-recorded lessons ay pwedeng mapanood anytime, anywhere. School up for students. Ang mga digital modules ay pwedeng gawin at maaari ring iprint for your convenience. Students can also do it with multimedia interactive tools Teacher, tapos na po ang activity ko. And submit! Yes! Sa School Up for Teachers, with just few clicks, teachers can check the submitted activities, lagyan ng score, comment, and feedback agad-agad. Sa ating School Up for Parents, Maari nang mamonitor ng mga magulang ang progress ng kanilang mga anak. Kaya, ang parent partnership ay possible sa Champions Academy. Visit our website, champions.edu.ph For more information, visit our Facebook page slash SF Champions Academy. Come and experience Champions Academy. Honey, honey, halika! Enroll na natin anak natin dito. Oo nga, i-enroll na natin siya. Quality education ba ang hanap niyo for your kids? Ito ang sagot sa problema niyo. Champions Academy will make your child's online learning experience fun and effective. Here is a little overview of what they can do. Hello. Welcome to Brain Pop. Our movies can really help kids get excited about a new topic. But click around and you'll find lots of other great stuff. From readings and quizzes to concept mapping and coding, think of our features as a progression up Bloom's taxonomy. From simple recall to independent analysis, up through representing original ideas through creative work. Wow! Amazing! No more boring moments. Siguradong mag-enjoy ang mga anak ninyo na mag-discover, learn, play, and create. Magkakaroon ng unlimited access sa mga animated videos, readings, quizzes, and creative tools na easy to use. Oh, and it's also super flexible. Choose whichever activities are the ideal fit for your students' interests and needs in whatever sequence works best. You can use BrainPop's Assignments tool to create whole class or individual assignments. Or let learners follow their own curiosity. Giving students agency boosts motivation. Dahil wala naman talagang one size fits all, this application offers a flexible learning pathway para sa inyong anak at sa buong klase. It also encourages an independent learning for your kids. Hindi hadlang ang pandemic at crisis na ito para magpatuloy ang quality education ng anak mo. And Champions Academy is one with you in your child's education. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Enroll na! For more details, visit or send a message to Champions Academy's Facebook page slash SF Champions Academy. And we are still accepting enrollees from nursery, kinder, and grades 1 to 6. Mag-register na sa champions.edu.ph slash pre-register.
Are you a parent working abroad? Are you a full-time working parent? Or are you busy working at home? Good news! Malayo ka man, you can still be assured of your child's learning development. Champions Academy Multimedia Curriculum comes through a brand new app where the child's progress can be monitored real-time by both parents, teachers, and students. Enroll your child now! Visit champions.edu.ph You can also browse our Facebook page, Champions Academy, for more details. COVID-19 can be a pandemic. Pandemic. I will not allow the opening of classes. Para sa akin, bakuna muna. Pandemic? No face-to-face -face class? Oh no! Paano na pag-aaral ng anak ko? Good news! Problem solved! Champions Academy as a digital school is ready sa makabagong paraan ng pag-aaral. Learning made fun for educational class engagement. Pwedeng mag-meet through video calls. Our multimedia curriculum comes with games, cartoons, movies, music, and many more. Classroom studios are real. Ang mga pre-recorded lessons ay pwedeng mapanood anytime, anywhere. School up for students. Ang mga digital modules ay pwedeng gawin at maaari ring iprint for your convenience. Students can also do it with multimedia interactive tools Teacher, tapos na po ang activity ko. And submit! Yes! Sa so school up for teachers, with just few clicks, teachers can check the submitted activities, lagyan ng score, comment, and feedback agad-agad. Sa ating school up for parents, Maari nang mamonitor ng mga magulang ang progress ng kanilang mga anak. Kaya, ang parent partnership ay possible sa Champions Academy. Visit our website, champions.edu.ph For more information, visit our Facebook page slash SF Champions Academy. Come and experience Champions Academy. Honey, honey, halika! Enroll na natin anak natin dito. Oo nga. I-enroll na natin siya. Quality education ba ang hanap niyo for your kids? Ito ang sagot sa problema niyo. Champions Academy will make your child's online learning experience fun and effective. Here is a little overview of what they can do. Hello. Welcome to Brain Pop. Our movies can really help kids get excited about a new topic. But click around and you'll find lots of other great stuff. From readings and quizzes to concept mapping and coding. Think of our features as a progression up Bloom's taxonomy. From simple recall to independent analysis. Up through representing original ideas through creative work. Wow! Amazing! No more boring moments. Siguradong mag-enjoy ang mga anak ninyo na mag-discover, learn, play, and create. Magkakaroon ng unlimited access sa mga animated videos, readings, quizzes, and creative tools na easy to use. Oh, and it's also super flexible. Choose whichever activities are the ideal fit for your students' interests and needs in whatever sequence works best. You can use BrainPop's Assignments tool to create whole class or individual assignments or let learners follow their own curiosity. Giving students agency boosts motivation. Dahil wala naman talagang one size fits all, 
this application offers a flexible learning pathway para sa inyong anak at sa buong klase. It also encourages an independent learning for your kids. Hindi hadlang ang pandemic at crisis na ito para magpatuloy ang quality education ng anak mo. And Champions Academy is one with you in your child's education. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Enroll na! For more details, visit or send a message to Champions Academy's Facebook page slash SF Champions Academy. And we are still accepting enrollees from nursery, kinder, and grades 1 to 6. Mag-register na sa champions.edu.ph slash pre-register. Are you a parent working abroad? Are you a full-time working parent? Or are you busy working at home? Good news! Malayo ka man, you can still be assured of your child's learning development. Champions Academy Multimedia Curriculum comes through a brand new app where the child's progress can be monitored real-time by both parents, teachers, and students. Enroll your child now. Visit champions.edu.ph You can also browse our Facebook page, Champions Academy, for more details. COVID-19 can be a pandemic. Pandemic. I will not allow the opening of classes. Para sa akin, bakuna muna. Pandemic? No face-to-face -face class? Oh no! Paano na pag-aaral ng anak ko? Good news! Problem solved! Champions Academy as a digital school is ready sa makabagong paraan ng pag-aaral. Learning made fun for educational class engagement, pwedeng mag-meet through video calls. Our multimedia curriculum comes with games, cartoons, movies, music, and many more. Classroom studios are real! Ang mga pre-recorded lessons ay pwedeng mapanood anytime, anywhere. School up for students. Ang mga digital modules ay pwedeng gawin at maaari ring iprint for your convenience. Students can also do it with multimedia interactive tools Teacher, tapos na pa ang activity ko. And submit! Yes! Sa School Up for Teachers, with just few clicks, teachers can check the submitted activities, lagyan ng score, comment, and feedback agad-agad. Sa ating School Up for Parents, Maari nang mamonitor ng mga magulang ang progress ng kanilang mga anak. Kaya, ang parent partnership ay possible sa Champions Academy. Visit our website, champions.edu.ph For more information, visit our Facebook page slash SF Champions Academy. Come and experience Champions Academy. Honey, honey, halika! Enroll na natin anak natin dito. Oo nga. E-enroll na natin siya. Quality education ba ang hanap niyo for your kids? Ito ang sagot sa problema niyo. Champions Academy will make your child's online learning experience fun and effective. Here is a little overview of what they can do. Hello. Welcome to Brain Pop. Our movies can really help kids get excited about a new topic. But click around and you'll find lots of other great stuff. From readings and quizzes to concept mapping and coding. 
Think of our features as a progression up Bloom's taxonomy. From simple recall to independent analysis, up through representing original ideas through creative work. Wow! Amazing! No more boring moments. Siguradong mag-enjoy ang mga anak ninyo na mag-discover, learn, play, and create. Magkakaroon ng unlimited access sa mga animated videos, readings, quizzes, and creative tools na easy to use. Oh, and it's also super flexible. Choose whichever activities are the ideal fit for your students' interests and needs in whatever sequence works best. You can use BrainPop's Assignments tool to create whole class or individual assignments, or let learners follow their own curiosity. Giving students agency boosts motivation. Dahil wala naman talagang one size fits all, this application offers a flexible learning pathway para sa inyong anak at sa buong klase. It also encourages an independent learning for your kids. Hindi headlang ang pandemic at crisis na ito para magpatuloy ang quality education ng anak mo. And Champions Academy is one with you in your child's education. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Enroll na! For more details, visit or send a message to Champions Academy's Facebook page slash SF Champions Academy. And we are still accepting enrollees from nursery, kinder, and grades 1 to 6. Mag-register na sa champions.edu.ph slash pre-register. Are you a parent working abroad? Are you a full-time working parent? Or are you busy working at home? Good news! Malayo ka man, you can still be assured of your child's learning development. Champions Academy Multimedia Curriculum comes through a brand new app where the child's progress can be monitored real-time by both parents, teachers, and students. Enroll your child now! Visit champions.edu.ph You can also browse our Facebook page. Good day, Champion Kids! It's another great day to worship the Lord with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our mind, and with all of our strength. We're really glad you're here to worship with us today. Stay tuned and let's worship!
This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe And keep on looking Sweet and marvelous, oh, oh, wonderful love. Hey, hey, champions! It's a wonderful and blessed morning para sa inyong lahat. Kamusta kayo? Mabuti naman kung ganon. So anyway, narinig nyo pa ang kinanta ko kanina? Wow, that's nice. Ang ganda ng song, di ba? Nakaka-encourage lalo na kapag ikaw mismo ay nag-worship kay Jesus. I know, excited na kayo para sa ating lesson for today. Pero bago yon, atin munang balikan ang topic last Sunday. Last week ay pinatunayan nga nila Jonathan at David ang kahalagahan ng pagkakaroon ng kaibigan. Dahil sa mismo ay binahagi nila ang kanilang kwento upang tayo din ay malaman natin na meron din palang isang awesome friend na mahal na mahal tayo at handang tumulong sa lahat ng oras at siya ay walang iba kundi si Jesus! Agree ba kayo doon mga bata? Wow! Good job! Nakaka-bless ba? Diba? Dahil nalaman natin na may taong gustong pala maging kaibigan tayo. Kaya naman mga bata, always remember that God sent Jesus para maging kaibigan din natin. O siya nga pala mga bata, bago tayo magsimula sa ating kwento ay may gusto muna akong itanong sa inyo. Sino dito ang marunong magplay ng drums? Wow, good job! How about yung marunong or magaling kumanta? Aha! E yung magpiano at tumugtog ng gitara. Wow, that's nice! Did you know na ang lahat ng mga nabanggit ko ay part ng music? At hindi lang yon, dahil ito ay isa sa mga way upang makapag-worship tayo kay God. Amazing, right? O siya, alam kong kanina pa kayo excited. 
Kaya tara, simulan na natin. Si Paul ay kilala bilang tagapamahagi ng Word of God sa iba't ibang lugar at doon ay sinasabi niya kung gaano kabuti si God. And one day, habang naglalakad si Paul kasama ang kanyang kaibigan na si Silas, ay napansin nilang sinusundan sila ng isang babae na mayroong masamang pag-uugali at ang babaeng ito ay ginagamit ng kanyang mga amo para kumita ng pera. Sa ilang araw na nakasunod sa kanila ang babae ay hindi na nga napigilan ni Paul ang mainis kaya naman kinausap niya ito at sinabing tumigil ka sa kakasunod sa amin. Nakinig at sumunod naman ang babae at siya nga ay naging malaya mula sa panggagamit ng kanyang mga amo. Ngunit nagalit ang mga ito kaya naman ipinakulong nila si Paul at Silas. Nakulong nga si Paul kasama si Silas at nang sumapit na ang gabi ay naisipan nilang magpray at magworship kay God sa pamamagitan ng kanilang pagkanta because they want to praise God kahit nasa ganun silang kalagayan. Habang patuloy na nagwo-worship si Paul at si Silas, bigla na lang nagkaroon ng earthquake at ang lahat ng mga kulungan ay nasira dahil sa lakas ng epekto nito. From that moment, nagkaroon ng chance ang iba nilang kasamahan sa kulungan para tumakas. But Paul and Silas didn't leave kahit na alam nilang may pagkakataon na para tumakas. And the next morning, nakalaya nga si Paul at Silas at maging ang mga taong nagpakulong sa kanila ay humingi ng tawad. dahil sa kanilang ginawa. Pagkatapos ng pangyayaring iyon, ay nagpatuloy nga si Paul kasama ang kanyang kaibigan na si Silas upang i-share sa iba pang tao ang Word of God at ipaalam sa kanila that God is good all the time. Hello Champions! Kamusta ang kwento? Ang ganda, di ba? Dahil it's really proven that God is so good at nararapat lamang na i-worship siya at i-share ang goodness niya sa ibang tao. Mga bata, bago tayo magtapos ay gusto ko lang din sabihin sa inyo na God loves when people sings, cheer, and play instruments for Him. Ganon din sa inyo. Because God loves to hear your praises at kahit gaano man kapangit or kaganda ang boses ng isang tao, it doesn't matter because God wants to fill your heart through worship. Nakakabless di ba mga bata na may natutunan ulit tayo sa kwento? Hanggang dito na lang muna. Sa susunod ulit. So see you next Sunday. Paalam! Hello kids! Handa na ba kayo sa ating memory verse ngayon? Good job! So itong ating memory verse ngayon ah, Psalms 81 verse 1, 2 Sing for joy to God, our strength Shout out loud to the God of Jacob Begin the music, play the tambourines, play the pleasant music, arms and lyres. Okay, one more time kids ha, pero sabayan nyo ako. Okay, Psalms 81 verse 1, 2. Sing for joy to God, our strength. Shout out loud to the God of Jacob. Begin the music, play the tambourines. Play the pleasant music, arms and lyres. Good job, kids! Hello, champion! For today's arts and crafts, gagawa tayo na paper collage. Gamit ang mga used paper or pwede rin magazine. Colored papers or newspaper. Together with glue, lapis, and gunteng. And wag yung pa kakalimutan ang ating pen and marker. 
first, let's draw any character, shape, or anything that you like. I will draw a cross and then outline it after by using a marker. Put some glue sa ating drawing. Then, let's get our newspaper at gunting. Mga tamang sizes na gusto mo at pwede mo na itong ikit sa iyong drawing. Ikaw na ang bahala kung paano mo siya didesignahan. I just want to say good job, champion! Bye! Wow! Na-bless pa kayo ngayong araw, kids? Good job! Kami rin! Na-bless! Kaya, kids, laging tandaan na God deserve to be worshipped dahil mabuti siya at mahal na mahal niya tayo at worship is expressing our love to God. Tama! At hindi na kailangang maging magaling kumanta. Pag nag-worship dahil tinitignan ni Lord is yung heart natin at love natin para sa Kanya. Okay ba yun, kids? Good job! Kaya sabay-sabay nating sabihin na God loves me and God is good. Isa pa, God loves me and God is good. Yeah! So kids, hanggang dito na lang. See you next Sunday! Paalam! <laughs>